Hey, what's going on guys? So I figured now that I actually have a thousand subscribers, maybe there were a couple of you that wanted to ask me questions for a Q&A. I've never done one of these before on my channel, but uh, I posted on Twitter asking you guys if you wanted me to do a Q&A and if, if so, leave comments or questions or whatever and I got quite a few so I'm gonna go through them right now real quick as a very first ever Q&A video first off unknown legend asked me how did you feel about advanced warfare um, honestly at first I thought it was a great game I thought the movement was cool and then as everybody got better and better and better with the movement the game became super random um, and it became really hard to play especially with the skill based matchmaking and overall the game ended as a piece of garbage so uh yeah they did not do a good job with advanced warfare so hopefully we don't get anything like that in the future robin hd asked me to cut away to something random so here's something random <laughs> Party Popper asked me, would you play with fans? Yeah, I totally would. Uh, the thing about that is, and I know that I've added, I've added a ton of you on PS4, uh, the thing about playing with fans is that uh, I don't play very much PS4 at all, and when I do play, I jump on just to get gameplays for YouTube. Um, so with that being said, I don't have that much free time, so it's hard to coordinate who's online and who wants to get in a party and all this stuff. And then, uh, you know, so yeah, I totally want to play with fans. Um, maybe when the summer comes and I have more free time it'll happen more often um, but if you want to add me on PlayStation the PSN is in the description below so give it a go Francisco Hilario if I pronounce that wrong I'm sorry uh, asked me how do you feel to have reached the 1000 subs milestone um, honestly it feels really awesome I mean I can't thank you guys enough for uh, you know all the support that you've given me uh, and it's really uh, encouraging and and it makes me want to you know keep doing it and, and see how big I can get and see how many people we can get to come hang out and watch these videos uh, so yeah it's really awesome and uh, again thank you guys so much FN 2187 asked two different questions the first one was when are you gonna stop being dumb and get to 2000 I don't know right now and he also asked, when are you going to give us follower names? Because right now I'm pretty upset. Apathetic emoji. Uh, I don't know. I think follower names are a little bit corny. Um, you know, maybe if I had a lot more of you and it was actually like a huge, huge, huge fan base, I would come up with a name for you guys so that way I can address all of you uh, at once, I guess. But I don't know. What do you guys want to be called? You can comment down in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what you want to be called. And yeah maybe i'll pick one who knows <laughs> so emily asked what is your most embarrassing moment uh she is if you guys didn't know she's actually my girlfriend so shout outs to bay <laughs> um she asked what my most embarrassing moment ever was and uh to be honest i'm gonna have to say the time that i accidentally peed on my friend's basement floor um not gonna go into detail shout out to joey you're the best friend ever and uh yeah sorry if this video gets 50,000 likes, I'll tell the full story in, a, in another video. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's move on to the next question. <laughs> Danielle, hey, what's up, Danielle? Uh, asked, when you reach 2,000, do we finally get our t-shirts? Uh, yeah, I've already made like a t-shirt design and everything, and I've looked into making t-shirts. The problem is, unless you buy them in like bulk, uh, they're super expensive per t-shirt, and I don't think anybody wants an Omniarch t-shirt yet, uh, so if you want to buy one, you can buy one of them for like 25 bucks. I just don't have the money to give out t-shirts, because, you know, poor. <laughs> Agua Clan Gaming asked, what inspired you to take to YouTube? Why have you stuck with it so long? Um, when I first was on YouTube, like way, way, way back when YouTube was first started, um, uh, the first person I watched was Jordy Jordan, Wings of Redemption. Uh, he had some really awesome Modern Warfare 2 gameplays, and he had some really great tips on how to be a better Call of Duty player. Uh, and I watched so many of his videos, and then from there, I watched Woody's Gamer Tag, White Boys 7th Street, X Jaws, all those guys, man, uh, all the originals back in the day. Those were the best, and uh, 
back then i really wanted to be a youtuber just because i thought it was so cool that you could share your gameplays and commentaries with other people and talk about random stuff and people actually cared about it um and but i was really young and i didn't have any way to record the gameplay and you know edit it all together and all that stuff um and i had a couple of random channels here and there when i was younger you know just for randomness um and then back in november 2014 i think it was um yeah, November 2014, I actually started this YouTube channel uh, uploading Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay right before Advanced Warfare dropped, um, and I just figured, you know what, I, I just, this is a hobby that I like, I'm gonna take it seriously, and I'm really gonna do it, I'm really gonna kill it, uh, you know, I've always wanted to have a, have a good channel, a solid channel with, like, you know, solid branding and everything, just like, a, you know, my ideal channel, um, and if people wanna watch, that's fine, if not, whatever, it's just a hobby, um, and that's kind of, yeah, so, you know, those old school COD commentators are what inspired me, uh, and what made me stuck with it so long is just really enjoying doing it. Uh, I think if you want to be a big YouTuber, quote unquote, uh, you have to really love doing it. You know, you can't just do it for the attention or the money or whatever. You actually have to really like filming and editing and coming up with video ideas and doing thumbnails and all this stuff you actually have to like really love the process in order to stick with it really long uh, and i really do enjoy doing all of that stuff obviously i'm still here this is like 220 something videos later so yeah i mean i don't know i just really like doing it gavin asked what's your favorite video game of all time um that's a tough question it's kind of hard to say because I've had so many, like, I've gone through so many phases of video game life, I guess. Um, but there are two games I would say that, like, influenced me the most. Uh, and the first is Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow. Uh, I'll, I'll group them together. I had a yellow version first, and then I switched to red and then blue. Um, I must have beaten that game, like, dozens and dozens and dozens of times. As a kid, I played it all of the time with my friends. Uh, the whole Pokemon genre and the whole brand of pokemon is just a huge thing huge part of my life and childhood and i love it so much uh they're super fun games and i've played all of them uh, up until this point with omega ruby alpha sapphire i've played all of them uh and i've beaten all of them except for black and white 2 i think that game was garbage but anyway anyway uh yeah the pokemon series super influential probably my favorite game franchise of all time uh and the second one is call of duty modern warfare 2 that call of duty was the first one that i got like addicted to like i i played call of duty 4 i played call of duty 3 call of duty 2 big red 1 i played every single call of duty um out there and i've owned every single call of duty except for the very first one and whatever pc exclusives but modern warfare 2 was the first one that i was like super addicted to like i played that game all the freaking time that game was so much fun uh, and i'd have to say that that was my most favorite call of duty and also the most influential first person shooter that i've ever played um and yeah it was just it was amazing i loved it uh and i'd have to say that is number two michaela what up michaela asked can we call you daddy Yes. I'd actually prefer Swag Daddy. I think that's a little more appropriate, but it's up to you guys. <laughs> JP asked me, what genre of music do you listen to? Um, I listen to a lot of genres of music, but mainly hip-hop, rap. That's like my favorite genre of music right now. I'm also really into like EDM, trap, dubstep, things along those lines. Um, but growing up, I was like a huge classic rock fan. I always was listening, you know, because of my, my parents. Carlos Santana, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, KISS, uh, you know, the Allman Brothers, like, all these crazy bands, Boston was another huge one, um, you know, all of that stuff was amazing, and then, Guitar Hero came out, and I was like, holy shit, like, all these fucking songs are in the game that I can play, and then I was, like, super obsessed with Guitar Hero, um, and, you know, like, all that music was super, super influential to me growing up, um, and then once I got a little bit older, middle school, high school, I started going into hip-hop and rap and, you know, listening to all that, like, all the early 2000s rap, like, um, like Nelly and 50 Cent and, you know, all those guys, uh, those were really, really, you know, influential to that time in my life. And currently now, uh, I'm still listening to hip hop rap as the main form of music that I listen to. Um, and yeah, 
Phenom7 Gaming, aka Luke, aka the homie that you see on my GTA videos, asked me, have you ever been so nervous that you projectile vomited on someone? Uh, not that I can remember. I don't think I've ever puked on another person. Uh, I think I would probably remember that. I've puked at parties or wherever after drinking or whatever but i've never been nervous to the point where i've thrown up on another human being because that would be crazy um and that would be one hell of a story that's for sure <laughs> gumby 007 what up man he asked why are gravity waves important to the ability to travel faster in space uh that is not the question i was expecting that is not my area of expertise uh, but i will try to give it a go so I guess the best way to explain this is, and again, I have no fucking idea if this is right at all, but I guess uh, gravity is something that fluctuates throughout space. Um, the larger the mass of an object, the stronger its gravitational pull. So as you move outward into space uh, and you come across different objects moving at different speeds, gravity will fluctuate based on your proximity uh, to these objects and things like that. So when we are studying space travel, uh, we have to take gravity into account uh, going forward because it's not a constant throughout space. Uh, it changes frequently, it changes, you know, drastically uh, depending on the size of whatever, especially for like black holes and colliding black holes and things like that. So I think that's what you're asking. I think your question is asking uh, how gravity waves, uh, why we have to take them into account when trying to travel faster through space. Um, that, I guess, is the answer, I think, from someone who doesn't really know anything about it. Uh, so hopefully that wasn't too boring. But yeah, let me know if you know the answer. I, I'm, I think you're testing me. I think you're testing me. If you know the answer, comment down below. I'd love to read it. And then I'm going to go for a lightning round real quick because Jack slash Infinity, uh, I've shouted him out on my first GTA video. He asked me a bunch of questions in our YouTube chat. So let's go through them real quick. Um, are you a virgin? If not, when and how do you lose it? I am not a virgin, I'm not going to answer the rest of that question. Can you bounce two apples on your head? Um, maybe, my head's pretty big, but I don't freaking like apples. I don't I don't like apples at all, so I don't have any to try it with, and I'm not going to get them, because like I said, they're gross. Um, are you satisfied with life? I don't know, that's a deep question, I could probably dedicate a whole video to that, I guess so. Um, can you deep throat a banana? I don't know, I doubt it, um, and yeah, we'll just leave it at that what is who is your favorite youtuber um my favorite youtuber right now my favorite youtuber is probably nade shot uh it has been for about a year now i just like how he's transitioned from professional gaming to the day in the life of a professional ex-professional gamer um so i watch all of his stuff and jenna's videos and i justine and that whole group of people that's really good plus all the optic members embos uh maniac hitch flame sword all those dudes um big timer for sure he's funny uh so those are my favorite youtubers right now but probably nature if i only have to pick one um who inspires you uh slash role model i don't know i guess i'd have to say my friends i guess you know just wanting to be a better person because of the people in my life that care about me that's kind of cheesy corny whatever um which number 10 0, 0 or 11 uh 10 i guess say pen is really fast no thanks can i slide into your dms bro you've been in the dms for months you gotta answer these lol lol lo. have you ever smoked pot no which is might 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 be weird to some people some people probably assume i do if you know me personally you might think that i do but i actually have never done it uh pretty crazy anyway that's it for my first q a ever um i just want to thank you guys so much again for a thousand subscribers hope that you guys enjoyed this video again 50,000 likes and you'll get to hear my most embarrassing story ever finally i want to answer one question that you guys didn't even ask uh this question is something that i thought might be one of the first questions i get i don't think anybody really knows on this channel unless you know me personally uh if you're a loyal subscriber and you've known me for a long time you probably know the answer to this question but if you're new around here or you if you only follow me occasionally you definitely don't know the answer to this question and the question is what is my name my name is liam nice to meet you i'm omniarch uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you subscribe down below leave a like or dislike or whatever you want and comment down below telling me whatever the hell you want thanks for watching omniarch out peace